Hello, welcome to Shadow of Judgment, everybody. Sorry it's so late. We just got done with fire and earth. Capricorns was very fucking confusing. And I'm pretty sure that was a timeline that doesn't exist anymore. But I don't know because I haven't taken the time to actually, you know, look into it as much as I should. But I don't think that was a timeline that exists anymore. I think that was one that's already passed up. I don't know, but we got air and water next. Who's next? Any. Okay, that doesn't help me. <laughs> water! You're up next. Yay. You guys got the chariot for your card of the week. Moving forward to victory! Oh, by the way, water signs, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter. So check your charts. If this resonates for you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Oh, what's this card game we're playing? Shadow of Judgment, right? This is where I look at all four corners, the inner parts of the circle, the outer parts as well. What is in the circle? Boop your nose in itself. The subconscious, the shadow side, anything that's going on in the background. <coughs> oh shit. <coughs> okay. <coughs> all right, I was almost done. Hopefully that's it. This is where we look at the shadow side, the things that are going on in the background, the things most people don't know about, right? Right. Also, if you want a personal reading, you can hit me up either on my email, Facebook, or Instagram listed below in the description box. First reading is on the house, of course. Everything else comes with the price. For any of those who are waiting for a personal reading, sorry I haven't gotten to him, it's just family shit came up. But cancer. This is about you and you're first. Okay. There is some truth. Someone who is really, really spoiled and childish is ignoring like like a lack of clarity and they and it's like they know it's a lack of clarity, but they don't care because they're kinda hot headed. You know, I never noticed, but almost every card I have that has like fire signs has them like redheads. Which is like that's like racist, but not really, I don't think. Maybe? I don't know. I'm not really sure how far the whole race thing goes anymore. It's 2019. Like, anything could be a race at this point. Someone's been wasting time, Cancer. Either you or the person you deal with. Oh, also, crosswalker, switch where you need to. Right? Don't come at me with that. This doesn't sound like me. It's the other person. Bullshit, because I ain't hearing that. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just delivering you a message, dude. You take it however you want to. Yeah, this person isn't trying to offer anything, and this whole looking like a martyr thing, looking like a good person, is just pissing somebody off because they're getting impatient, tired of waiting. Ooh. Someone doesn't realize that, like, they're doing shit to themselves because they don't know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> Ah, uh, ah, uh, cancer. Cancer, cancer, cancer. What are you? Oh, Lord, what are y'all up to? What are you doing? Now, people give cancers a lot of shit, but honestly, like, they just feel so much that it's hard for them to control. Like, like I get, like, okay, like, this was back when I was really, really young, like, teenager, right? Well, not that young, but still. In 20 years, that'll be really, really young for me, but we'll go with that, right? Like, many, many years ago, there was this girl who was fucking with me in high school, and I got so mad at her that I grabbed her by the back of the neck. Did not know she was a, cap a cancer at the time, but I grabbed her by the back of the neck, and I was just like, you need to stop! And she started crying. And it was the most fucked up thing I've ever done in my life. And it was just like, okay, I'm sorry I made you cry, dude. Like, my bad. And then after that, we were, like, friends for years. Like, actually, we're still friends. Like, she brings it up all the time. Because, like, most cancers, <laughs> she holds a grudge. <laughs> oh, but enough about me being a dick. Let's see, cancer. Like, seriously, I was a really mean person when I was a child. Up until, like so many years ago, and then, like, it was just like, you know what, I can't be keep being mean to people. Like, that shit hurts. Not that I was intentionally being mean, but it was like, you know, 
Capricorns are, ter are, are terribly notorious for being control freaks in really petty ways. Like, extremely petty ways. Pe ways that don't even make sense. Like, Thanos kind of fucking ways. It almost seems like you're dealing with a Thanos in this. That's the reason why I mentioned this. Cancer. This is kind of like Ek, right? That dude who I did a reading for the other night, this is kind of like him. Glad to see you back here, Ek. Missed you. Lots of smooches, right? But it's like... Someone still has no idea, or they're just uh, completely confused about how they fucked their own selves open. Uh, over, my bad. Not open, over. Like, you know, Ten of Swords for me in this deck is like you're kind of like causing your own torture and not even realizing it. That's why I won't end properly. And then we got the Queen of Swords where someone's just acting like a completely scorned woman. Like they just caught their man sleeping with the chick from the Waffle House. And the and the chick and the weird girl from the fry station at McDonald's is in your bathroom, using your douche, just out of nowhere, and it's just kind of like what the hell, Paul? And then you're just just sitting there confused while this person's just being like, hey, it happens, right? It left you insecure. It left you feeling like almost like you can't trust anybody. We got a hangman here. You might be trying to be a martyr, but you're losing patience, and you definitely want that offer, and you've been thinking so hard. You've been thinking really hard. And like, how much you miss this, how much you want this. But it's like, the king of wands over here, it's like, you you might, or someone you're dealing with, is being stubborn, is being hard-headed. They're not offering anything when it comes to the commitment, and it's got you all sad. It's making you all sorts of sad. What's with this lack of clarity? What is it that's being missed here? Because this person doesn't even realize that they're betraying them own selves, I feel like. Like, they don't see the pattern yet. Either they're too young to see the pattern, and they're acting like a middle-aged mom who's angry that, like, teenage girls look better in skimpy dresses than she does, and she wants the policy reform so she doesn't feel so out of place. Because, you know, insecurities, right? Someone wants to let their guard down, knowing that shit won't work, because, yeah, because they, yeah, okay, so they kind of caused the shit to happen, but that's what they're not seeing, or wait, they're trying to make somebody offer their cup up? This is paranoia. This is not letting your guard down because they think that they that it won't work. So they're trying to manipulate. It's like someone's trying to manifest another person to hand over the cup. Like you will love me. You will accept my love. Which is just like, is that really love if you try to like pressure somebody or force somebody to love you when they don't want to? That's not love. That's desperation. You know. That's that's like saying um. I don't know. Cancer. That's say it a lot, though. Hmm. That's your reading, though. Man, all the signs are gonna be so pissed at me because I'm so like, uh, I don't know. Like, I'm sorry. I just haven't had any sleep. It's been a long 36 hours. And it's like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and drink some more coffee. Like, I might as well make it a good ass 52. <laughs> I might as well go the distance. <laughs> Act like I'm in college all over again. Alright, Scorpio! 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 It's your turn for your shadow. So let's see. You wanna be happy! You wanna be happy! So happy! So happy! And you're gonna make that shit happen! Yes, you are. Look at you. Um, uh, who the fuck is that? Who is that all angry, sitting in an angry chair? She might be pissed at this guy. Hey, he's doing best. Look away. Oh, making nine contact is. Not okay. Oh yeah. 
I don't know. I'll have to change scene appropriate. Yeah. You <laughs> what are you doing? Like, who is this? Who's not willing to look you in the eye, Scorpio? Because you're over here, like, you already boiled the rabbit. You're just like, you're next, bitch. You know, like, you're kind of like, you're happily being, like, insane. <laughs> Oh, you're happy, but you're still kind of pissed off that things didn't work out between you and this possible emperor dude, maybe an Aries? Or someone who had control of everything, the household, and all that shit. Ah. Might be still some secrets involved. Da da da. Hey, man's just making an appearance today. Alright. Scorpio, I think you're holding a grudge. Again, somebody, because things didn't work the way you wanted them to, and now you're kind of being the hangman reverse. Just all mad and shit, and you're trying to play a martyr, wasting time. Not giving an offer to this commitment, right? Like, you might be the emperor right here, <laughs> which is what made me laugh, because it's just like, he doesn't even want to look at the Queen of Cups, because she's just like, oh, she's in crazy... No, I'm not doing that. I, I don't give a fuck how much I love her. I'm not going near that shit. She'll fucking murder me. Nut job and shit, right? Mmm. Mm. Just seem crazy, man. Like, mmm. Alright, so... This Emperor... He's just looking away. He's running away because he's got secrets when it comes to this commitment and this person who's kind of acting like a martyr. Now, I feel like, Scorpio, you are trying to make things happen. You're riding off to make your, um... self-known with the Knight of Cups. Like, I am available for love! But you haven't taken the leap of faith yet because you still got this commitment right here. And it feels like the person who is being the martyr, wasting time, like, keeping things stalled, not yielding the way that they should, is the one who's supposed to be making this offer. Now, whether you take the door or the offer, I have no idea. That's really up to you, but we can look at that offer real quick. Let us commence with the snoopage. What's with this ace of pentacle right here? Uh... Well, bad judgment, first off, about not resurrecting something. And that's become a burden they want to end. It's like they broke up. And now they want to... Uh, like, now they're just like, you know what? I'm done with this. Give me whatever options you have. I will do the right thing right now as long as we are back together. Like, you want to go out and venture for something new. But it's like when this person finally makes an offer, it's kind of like... It's because all their options kind of led back to you. Not that they were shitty, but that they always just kept leading back to you. That's kind of sweet. Might be a Libra, a Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius, you, Pisces, Cancer. All sorts of folk are in the mix right here. Could be Leo as well. Maybe Leo pissed you off. That wouldn't be surprising. But yeah, that's your shadow, Scorpio. So let's see who's... Ah. Damn it. Janet. I love you. I need to stop watching Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's starting to become a little bit of an obsession. <laughs> but I love Dr. Frankenfurter. Like, I wish I could be that kind of woman. Like, damn. Like, if I, like, if I could look like Bayonetta... Uh, I like so many things I could keep. Like, I mean, I could have done them still. But still. Uh, I'm jealous of chicks with better asses than me. That's a fact. Let's see. Pisces, you are next. So let's see what's going on with your shadow. Right? Right. Alright, Pisces, you got yourself, Cancer, or Scorpio. Offering love in the most... You... Uh, that you don't want. You're offering your love to everybody but that judgment reverse. It's like it's over here, it's like, I'm going this direction. You know. Oh, you love me? I love bagels. 
you know. Oh, this is church. I'm going to drink in front of the church and wake up at like three in the morning to be at service. But thank you for asking me if I wanted to go. Oh, this <laughs> whoever you're dealing with who is expecting a resurrection of sorts or is giving the bad ideas is expecting a reason to stick around. Which you have your guard up against. You're like trying to offer your cup to anywhere but this person. And this person's kind of a dick. Like, just kind of. Um, unfaithful spouse, overbearing money. M money. Mother expects shit to be hung over them. You're trying to get away from all of the fighting. They're expecting an offer <laughs> from you. What? Okay, yeah, they're just crazy. They're crazy. They are crazy tasty people. Cancer, you have, like, you guys always have weirdos coming after you and shit. Like, it's weird. But, like, you're trying to offer your cup anywhere, you're guarding yourself against this person, but you really don't see them. They're, like, coming up from behind, right? Why, kid? No. No, baby. Why must you want to be in front of me right now? Or on me right now? I don't even, I just put my legs out of cost. Okay, thank you. Why don't you lay down right there next to me? That'd be simpler for both of us. Yes? Sorry, Kitten decided she wanted my attention once again after she fucking just left me. Like the bitch she is. But she's my bitch. My best friend, yes. Bitch. But yeah, like... This person is expecting you to let them stick around even though they might have been a cheater. Even though they are always being like, I need stuff, will you please give me money to assist them? Because they're stuck in their head about you. What are you biting me for? Okay, well, thank you for looking and making it better, but you're digging your claws in, so... Um, cause... Uh, it's like you're dealing with a, a cancer, maybe? Like, you're done fighting, like, you're definitely done dealing with their bullshit because they come in flailing and shit. Not even trying to win a fight, just to be fighting and you're done with it. It's just like, I am so tired of arguing with you every chance you get because you're not getting your way and you're stuck in your own bullshit. Mind you, they're not revealing anything to you, but they're still expecting a handout, right? Like, they're really shocked that, like, you guys didn't, like, either re resurrect something or you didn't think their ideas are good, and now they're coming out with the King of Swords just being all bitter towards you. Still, expecting some shit, but not actually coming out telling you what the fuck it's for. What are these secrets that they're hiding from you, Pisces? I am the most disorganized reader, I swear. <laughs> Let's see. They aren't saying it like it want air once again. Ah, they want to end the conflict too, but they're gonna kill themselves before they do it. Um, they got too much grief on their brain about this relationship or this connection they once had with you, right? Like, they still want the relationship, and they're going to communicate that, but they're nuts. They are insane. They are broke. They want you to give them the Tenth Pentacle. They are a moocher. Don't fucking do it. <laughs> Don't you dare, Pisces. You've come too far. Um, they will give up. They will give up. If you tell them to fuck off, I'm just letting you know. They'll give up if you tell them to fuck off and leave you alone. Like, they won't do it for much longer. But I feel like you guys have been dealing with this person for so long that it's like... You feel like giving in or whatever. And I'm telling you, you don't do it. You keep putting them off until they leave. Like, I don't know what's up with this person when it comes to you. But it's like they won't let you go. No matter how much they tell you they don't like you. Which is something I'm kind of picking up here, especially with the King of Swords. It's like they try to guilt trip you. And then they lose their shit when they realize the guilt trip doesn't work. It's like, um... Kind of like a Gemini. You know, they'll start crying, screaming. They'll have a complete mental breakdown in front of you, and it could be a complete fucking lie. Them and Libra. Because they do that shit really fucking well. 
I don't know why they do that well. I don't get it, but it's like, you know, I like I've seen this before. I, I know exactly what you're doing. Anyway, this is the end water sign. So if you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. Um, you may like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure from me, of course. And I will see you guys later. Love you very much. Sorry I'm a disorganized mess. I'll see you later. Bye.